everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I am going to be talking about a Scottish band by the name of Hollow Horse. Now, if that band name does not sound familiar, don't worry about it, because up until just a few months ago, I had never heard of them either, and now I am knee-deep. I'm a hardcore fan of this band. They've been around 20 years. What have I been doing for 20 years? I thought I was on top of music. I mean, I love the guitar pop that comes out of Scotland, and for some reason, I miss these guys, and I'm so grateful to have them in my life right now. Let's start talking about this. They're a complete mystery. You know, they have a Facebook page, but there's no pictures of the band. You really can't find pictures of the band online. And as Wally Salem from The Beautiful Music stated on Twitter, that when you search Hollow Horse, you come up with either The Icicle Works. You guys know how much I love The Icicle Works because they have a song called Hollow Horse or it comes up with China Crisis. And I love China Crisis because they have an album called Diary of a Hollow Horse. But you really can't find too much about the band. And I want to change that. I would get them out there. Now, before I start talking about the band, I'm going to put their Facebook page in the description box. So if you have Facebook, uh, like them, and hopefully we'll be able to get more information out of them. Hopefully they'll get a Bandcamp page up. But for right now, let's talk about the music. Let's start with the first album. It is called Five Year Diary. It came out in 2003. Now, all the albums I'm talking about was produced by Brian McNeil. The band of this album was uh, singer, songwriter, guitar player, Kenny Little, uh, a keyboard player by the name of David Weatherspoon, and a bassist by the name of Kevin Devlin. The way to describe Hollow Horse is, uh, you know, if you're a fan of like the Railway Children from the late 80s, early 90s, you know, really guitar, Gary Newby and his his band of, of, of just great, great stuff. Mexico 70 was another great band that had that jangly guitar, you know, maybe a less produced trash can Sinatra's, things like that. Just, just this glorious pop music unpretentious, uh, great vocals, great hooks. And this album came out in 2003, and it hasn't dated one bit. It's not as produced as the later stuff, but still, it sounds fresh and exciting. 20 years later, the songs are great. And even though it's a debut, it seems like they have come out fully formed. Sometimes you can tell by a band's first album that it's the first album, just the, the way it's structured or the songs are structured and, and the interaction between the players. But this sounds like these guys were around for many years before this album came out, and it's truly fantastic. So Five Year Diary came out in 2003. That was followed two years later by an album called Beggar's Town. Now, this is an album they added a fourth member, Ian Stevenson, on drums. Uh, so it had uh, Kevin Devlin and Kenny Little and David uh, Weatherspoon. And uh, this is another great collection of songs. You know, the Railway Children, Mexico 70, Trash Cans and Arches, you know, maybe a little Beautiful South, that kind of stuff. Not as lush as those bands. You know, this wasn't like, you know, eccentric pop or quirky pop. This is pop that you know you listen to those songs and you think man this should have been a hit the songs are great that's what really matters so beggar's town is the second album fantastic but it took another three years before escaping from a submarine came out this is much more mature now the band changed a little bit uh dave weatherspoon was out kevin devlin was out and then they brought in kenneth stevenson on bass not sure if he's related to ian stevenson but like I said, this band's a mystery. Uh, but this album is called Escaping from a Submarine. It came out in 2008. Great collection of songs. Again, you know, it's got the jangly guitars, but they're also really good at ballads, too. And usually an indie band, uh, you know, they're not known for ballads, you know. But these guys know what they're doing in terms of songwriting. And then they disappeared. For 15 years, we waited. But out comes Leaving Without Saying Goodbye. In my opinion, the best of their four albums. Again, singer, songwriter, guitar player, Kenny Little out in front. You've also got Ian Stevenson and Ken Stevenson. And also there's an appearance by their old bassist, uh, Kevin Devlin. But what a collection of songs. They've matured so much. You know, it's like I said, it's been 15 years. But there's still that spark in it. And this album produced by Brian McNeil, it's even better and deeper and, 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 and warmer. Uh, and just a great collection of songs. There's the back cover right there. Hollow Horse from Scotland. I can't believe that I haven't known this. Now, this album came out in 2023, so there's still time to make these guys the stars that they should be. Really a wonderful collection of songs. All of these are. They're all timeless. Like I said earlier, I can't believe I've been living life without hearing Hollow Horse. 
but I'm not going to make you wait to hear Hollow Horse because I have put together a medley featuring snippets from two songs from each album so you can get an idea of what this band sounds like. So sit back, relax, give this a listen, and I will see you on the other side. I don't know how long I drifted I was way off theme But now the ground has shifted Beneath my feet Thanks to you, St. Jude For the prayer senses And everything I do Heartfelt thanks to you, St. Jude Me. 
Anyway, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this look at the music of Hollow Horse. Still a complete mystery. Can't find pictures of the band. Can't find much information about them. But any information I get, I'm going to put in the description box below so you can track these albums down yourself. Wonderful, great, fantastic music. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.